Hello, good morning. My name is Nicaela Tiborientas from BSED 1A Sciences. So for today's video, we're going to discuss some important and relevant topic in regards of environmental science. Well, if you want to hear more about related science topic, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell notification beside it hit para lagi ka maging updated sa mga i-upload ko pang mga videos. So, today, the topic that I really want to share with you guys is about the ecosystem. I know that um, some of you are already familiar with the term and maybe some are not. Well, anyway, let's start. Ecosystem is a community of living things interacting with its non-living environment. The branch of science that deals with the study of organism and how they interact with the environment and around them is what we call ecology. Organisms have basic needs such as food and shelter. However, food and shelter is not enough to support life. So living organisms need other things such as water and air to survive. There are two components of ecosystem, the biotic and abiotic components. When we say biotic, came from the Greek word bio, which means life. It consists of living things in our organisms such as plants, animals, bacteria, and of course, as human. Biotic component includes producers such as plants, consumers such as animals, and decomposers such as bacteria. While the abiotic components consist of non-living components, or the chemical or physical aspect of an ecosystem. Examples are air, water, soil, temperature, and sunlight. These abiotic components have important roles in the survival of the living organism in an ecosystem. Therefore, the biotic and abiotic components interact to each other to maintain balance in our environment. Let's now proceed with the relationship that happens in the ecosystem. The first one is mutualism. Mutualism happens when both organisms benefit to each other. It is like a win-win situation. For example, bees and flowers. Bees and flowers have a mutualistic relationship wherein bees get the nectar they need to make honey by traveling between flowers the bee brings pollen from one plant to another, resulting in pollination. The next one is commensalism. Commensalism is a relationship between two organisms in which one organism is benefits and one is unaffected or unharmed. The commensal is the organism that is benefited. For example, water lily and frog wherein frog is the organism or the commensal that is benefited from using water lily as its resting place, while the water lily is unaffected or unharmed by the frog. Next is parasitism. Parasites are species that live or feed off another organism or host, causing the host to be affected or ultimately die. For example, dog and fleas. A flea benefit from a dog by sucking blood from them. They inject a small amount of saliva into the skin while the dog is harmed by fleas by getting allergic from their blood-sucking bites. Next is competition. Competition is a relationship between organisms in which one is harmed when both are trying to use the same resource related. For examples, fishes inside an aquarium wherein they were competing for food and space next is a hyena and lion competing for territory the last one is predation wherein one species of organisms harm or eat the other species of organism especially common among carnivores predator are organisms that harm or eat. Well, the prey, those are organisms 
being harmed or eaten. Examples are lion eating zebra and big birds eating fish. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you have learned something from the short lesson of us. Once again, I am Nikaela T. Barrientos from BSED1A Sciences. Annyeong! Bye-bye! Thank you! Pagaling po tayong lahat!